Hi, Pleasure Nation. This is Ms. Aguila, Assistant Principal at America's High School, and I supervise attendance. On this page, there's, there's a link for the 2020-21 SISD Remote Learning Attendance Information Handout that will provide some frequently asked questions as well as some answers from our district regarding our remote learning. So the first question is, how will students be learning this year and how will attendance be taken? During the 2020-21 school year, students will be able to participate in three instructional models, on-site, remote synchronous, and remote asynchronous. On-site instruction will occur when students return physically into the building and their teacher provides direct instruction in the classroom. Remote synchronous instruction occurs when students participate in two-way, real-time, live, virtual instruction between teachers and students when students are not on campus. The key word here is live. Remote asynchronous instruction does not require having the instructor and student engaged at the same time. In this method, students learn from instruction that is not necessarily being delivered in person or in real time. This type of instruction will include various forms of digital and online learning, such as pre-recorded video lessons or game-based learning tasks that students complete on their own or alone, and pre-assigned work and formative assessments made available to students on paper. During remote learning, students will have the option of participating through remote synchronous or remote asynchronous instruction and attendance will be taken accordingly. This school year, Trailblazers, we will be taking attendance even though we are working remotely. If a student logs in through Microsoft Teams at the school's designated schedule and participates in real-time instruction with the teacher, the student will be counted as Remote Synchronous Present, or PS. If the student is not able to log in at the designated scheduled time, but during the time frame of 12 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. for the given school day, it shows daily progress in the learning management system, for example, Microsoft Teams, completes or turns in assignments, is engaged with other district approved instructional resources such as Nearpod, and or engages with the teacher through a daily contact focused on supporting or monitoring academic progress, the student will be counted remote asynchronous present PA. If a student is not able to demonstrate engagement through either of these two forms, the student will be counted absent or A. Ninth through 12th graders will participate in synchronous and asynchronous instruction within their alternating block schedule. So Trailblazers, our schedule will be different this year. On Mondays and Wednesdays, you will be meeting with four class periods, 1A, 2A, 3A, and 4A. That's for Mondays and Wednesdays. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, you're going to meet with class periods 5B, 6B, 7B, and 8B. Those classes will meet on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Friday is going to be a little different. Friday, we get to meet with all of our classes. That will be first through eighth periods, and we will be taking attendance during all periods. For example, Students are expected to participate in at least one of the instructional models, synchronous or, or asynchronous, per day, per period, according to our school schedule. Learning occurs best when a student is guided through real-time synchronous instruction. If a student misses the synchronous opportunity for any reason, the student can still earn attendance for the day through the various options and the asynchronous model. Another question, how will teachers and principals monitor and support student attendance? For, grade, for grades 9 through 12, teachers will initially take attendance for their students during the designated synchronous time. Students will be marked either remote synchronous present, PS, or absent, A. If a student who is initially counted absent demonstrates engagement under the asynchronous model, for that given day, the teacher can resubmit attendance until 4 p.m. of the following day as remote asynchronous present PA. For example, 
a student in grade nine does not participate during Monday's synchronous attendance time because a younger brother was using the computer. The ninth grade teacher will count the student as absent. A, later in the day at about 7.45 p.m., the ninth grade student submits the assignment posted on the daily Nearpod lesson. The student's teacher may now resubmit the student's attendance as remote asynchronous present PA for the day since the assignment was submitted. In this example, if the student submits the Nearpod assignment on Tuesday, the student's attendance for Monday will remain absent, A, because the submission was based on Monday's engagement and not on Tuesday's engagement. Principals will be coordinating with campus attendance clerks to ensure attendance is being submitted accurately in accordance with school district policy. Each campus has an email address for parents to submit questions, concerns, documentation, or requests for attendance corrections. Trailblazers and Trailblazer parents. Our email address is attendanceamericas at sisd.net, and you'll be able to see this on our Trailblazer 101 page. Another question, what are attendance requirements for students for the 2021 school year? Blazer Nation, the minimum attendance for class credit rule of the Texas Education Code will still be in effect for the 2020-21 school year and the Texas Education Agency will not be issuing waivers for school districts to exempt themselves from the rule. We understand that last spring of the 2019-20 school year, Sequoia ISD did receive a waiver for attendance and loss of credit. However, Trailblazers, please remember that this year we will not be receiving a waiver, so the 90% rule still applies. Therefore, students are required to attend at least 90% of their classes to receive credit and be promoted. Truancy laws will apply to students who fail to attend school. Remote learning attendance through either the remote synchronous or remote asynchronous methods satisfies all attendance requirements. So what does this mean for you, Trailblazers? This means that you can still fall into the loss of credit category. So you must attend 90% of your classes. According to our calculations, if you have 3.5 absences during the fall semester, that is from August 17th through December the 18th, you will lose credit in your classes. So please make sure that you are logging in during the synchronous times of your class periods to be able to be marked present synchronous. However, you can also follow the asynchronous present model to be able to finish your work and allow teachers to go back and change the coding in Tyler to present asynchronous. And the last question, if a student does not have a laptop or device, how will attendance be taken? Campuses will provide hard copy student learning packets and their schedule of distribution for students to whom this situation applies. A student will be provided with a daily schedule of items to be completed to satisfy daily attendance. If this is your case, please contact the, our campus immediately for further guidance. Again, our phone number is 937-2800, or you can email us at attendanceamericas at sisd.net. Thank you for your attention, and go Trailblazers.